A24 Bullies in the Sanctuary. Today's devotion will not be a very comfortable one for many of us, I suspect myself included. You can find the devotion to go with this video in my book, Not Always All Together. And I discuss in that about coming across a schoolyard bully in my 20s, who I remembered very clearly, and I remembered what he did to me. And I had forgiven him, but I could see his tactics continued on to adulthood, only now they were disguised in more socially acceptable formats. He wasn't punching people out, but his words did a lot of damage as a bill collector. There are bullies in almost every church, in every organization that I have belonged to, I have seen bullying go on. I recognize bullying pretty easily because I was severely bullied as a child. So I can sense the um, spirit behind it. And this is how it usually works in a church. Somebody doesn't quite fit in. Perhaps they ask questions that are uncomfortable. Perhaps they are a little bit socially awkward. Uh, perhaps they are demanding of the pastor's time. Perhaps somebody feels threatened by them because they frankly have a better singing voice than them and they're on the worship team and the person who doesn't like them isn't. Whatever the case, usually bullying in the sanctuary looks like this. Gossip, passive aggressive statement, innuendos, shunning. Soon enough, these people get the message that they're not welcome and they leave the church wounded. The very people who probably needed the body of Christ the most are the ones who quite often get shoved out the door through our behavior. I know the Lord convicted me of this tactic, especially with people who I felt were threatening friends of mine. I repented and I sought to hear both sides of every story because it's usually the one-sided stories where the bullying begins. There is a better way. You can model what a Christian family should look like by being inclusive, inviting those who are usually on the fringe of societies into the middle of our midst and love up on them, laugh at their silly jokes, uh, put up with their inappropriate questions at times, and show them through your love just what the family of God can look like and allow them to let down their walls and receive healing and restoration.